1901 Fleetwood Tioga here at Halet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. And uh, though there's a little history to this one, most of it's very good. And I'll touch on both sides of that coin as we go through. That's one of the reasons I put these together, to give you a good, fair, honest assessment of a piece before you make a drive and before you invest thousands of dollars into something. Um, this has been owned by the same couple for the last 10 years. They bought it in 05, <clears throat> immediately replaced all the awnings. Um, they added awnings to, uh, like the windows there, they added a privacy shade to the rear. Um, this has been kept very clean. Uh, I've seen a lot of Tiogas over the years because there were a ton of them on the road. I've seen a lot of them in some pretty poor shape. But this is, by and large, very clean. This has uh, the Ford Triton 5.4 liter uh, V8 on an E350 chassis. What's nice is this is not super extended. This is going to be easy to drive. Uh, 4000, own and generator, does fire, does work. New tires last year, all new tires. Front, rear, inside, outside, everything. You have brand new sneakers on this kid. Um, <clears throat> moving around, uh, it's got that cream colored skin that all the Fleetwoods had back then. It was almost a calling card from them. And uh, you know, everything looks good. Now, if you watch our photo tour, if you're not, if you're just watching this on YouTube, please click over to our website. I have a picture of the roof that shocked me. It is so clean. Um, I mean, it is so clean. I was surprised. This is all new rubber skirting down here. Uh, class 3 receiver hitch, so if you want to throw a boat or a small chase car behind this, you can. Now, this aluminum shroud on this awning is a big deal. When they put this on in 05, basically, you can't just add the shroud, strangely. You have to get the shroud with the fabric in two built in one because it's different hardware. You wouldn't think that, but it's true. I, I was surprised to learn that in my service department the other day. And uh, so that, that's a big deal. That's a big chunk of extra money. Now, uh, I, I don't like, um, you know, not talking about the elephant in the room. Let's get right to it here. If you look closely, you can see where this looks like maybe it has bowed a little bit here. However, it's all solid. It had one point though, had a leak. And if you notice, they had done, so, someone spent serious money. This is all new high grade aluminum trim. This is the same aluminum trim used by uh, the RV brand Open Range today, and they're a top shelf brand. So it's not uh, like a screw trim that has a rubber cap or anything. Um, so this is all new here because at some point there'd been a little bit of a seam failure here. It had been addressed, my guess is probably in 05 when these folks had originally purchased this because they bought it, they must have got a good deal on it, they put some money into it to make it right, and they used it for 10 years and had a good time. Um, looking around here the uh let's let's jump right up front this is cosmetic but it is here so you deserve to know about it some wallboard had gotten a little soft from when the you saw the previous water penetration that i hinted at or not hinted at showed you outside but again all the seams and everything have been replaced that's purely cosmetic it's not pretty it's there but it's not hurting anything now um if you were standing here in person you'd immediately be like wow it got super quiet in here that's because this has this nice soft touch ceiling liner. Now that's doing a couple things for us. If there had ever been an area, like say around this roof vent here, if there'd ever been an area where there was water leakage, you would see it. It would stain brown like nobody's business because the glue they use in campers is brown. So when water gets in, you see water, uh, brown water streaks. Um, you don't see any of that in here. This thing's in good shape. Uh, you know, everything's pretty solid. Let me back up and give you kind of a nice overview over here real quick. I, I got involved in the upfront area there because that's going to be very important for people. And again, before you, you make the drive and you spend money, I want you to know what you're getting. Um, all of the, uh, like these soft goods here with this Native American or Southwest print, whichever phrasing you prefer, that is all new. They replaced all the cushions here, uh, including the overhead um, bunk mat up front. So darn windows fighting the camera. So this is all new as well. And this is heavy duty is what's nice. You can actually support weight on this. Um, the, uh, let's see, they added the nice flat screen on the TV mount over here. They took out all the, all the factory shades and they put in all new factory day night shades and they made all of their own blinds. They made all of these themselves. And I tell you, they did a darn nice job of it. They even have an extra one stowed away over here that you see that can uh, act as a privacy shield up front. So, not, I mean, they put some serious TLC into this. They kept it in great shape as long as they owned it. And now you can get a good deal on a nice used Class C motor home. This is an awesome little weekend jet setter. I like the, the wood top table. Man, I miss that. Everything's for mica top now. That is so sharp looking. Fleetwood always built a heck of a coach and you know, it's just 
unfortunate they're not around anymore. Um, nice uh, middle kitchen with a rear corner bed back here and lots of windows. You see that the camera is kind of struggling with those because it is such a beautiful day out. We've got storage all the way around. As far as I know, uh, and I checked with our uh, manager who uh, looked at this when we took it in, everything's in good shape, everything's working well. Uh, it's, it's just a great camper that's gonna treat someone well. And this toilet, I like that there's that riser in there. Um, and that's factory done, that's not aftermarket, so you don't gotta worry about somebody monkeying with plumbing. But this has all been well maintained and kept super clean in here. Like I said, I was shocked when I looked at the roof. They seriously maintain this thing. Uh, you know, this is one of those that uh, you definitely want to come put your hands on, make sure everything meets your comfort level, and uh, take it for a test drive. 800-256-5196. Halet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Thank you, everybody. Take care. Stay safe. Happy camp.